welcome to video lesson students today's topic is venn diagrams this is very important topic and uh, you may score four marks through this venn diagrams and see before class we have discussed what are the uni what is an universal set and what are the subsets equal sets and what are the equivalent sets all we have discussed in the previous session now in this session we will discuss regarding venn diagrams see here it is given that uh, the universal set is given here see this is an universal set so in this universal set the set a is given set b is given and you have to draw venn diagram for this problem so like this questions you may get for two marks questions in the final examination so when universal set and set a set b are given how to draw a venn diagram for this see in the previous session itself have shown how the universal set look like and this is an universal set and this is this universal set with the uh, we will re represent with an like a, this is a symbol and this is mu and this is set a and this one is set b so we have to indicate all these elements in this set so how to show these elements in this universal set so first of all look at this set a and set b so what are the common elements in both the sets that you have to observe so this 4 and 5 are the common elements in both the sets so first of all when you look here this is this is an so this is an intersection part in this part these two elements will come and sit that you have to remember see here we will pick out from the universal set that is mu and we will put these four five elements in the intersection part like this next one we will fill the remaining elements in set a so four five are indicated in the intersection part and what are the elements which were left out in set a what are the elements that is 2 8 and 9 so these three elements will come in and rest in the left out place in set a like this and this is the set b in this set b the intersection part elements that is 4 5 were already shown here and what are the elements were left out that is 3 6 and 7 so these three elements uh, will come and rest in the remaining part of the set b like this so when you look at the universal set each and every element taking their positions now so what are the elements which were left out in the universal set so 1 and 10 so these two elements will come and rest in the remaining space that is these two elements should not be included in set either in set a or in set b so like this we will show the venn diagram next one so this problem is very very important and this problem is compulsory question and you may get this question for four marks in the final examination so this venn diagram will be given and you have to find out what is a set b set a set b mu n of a n of b a union b a intersection b n of a union b n of a intersection b and you have to prove that n of a union b is equal to n of a 
plus n of b minus n of a intersection b that you have to prove so let us solve this problem first we will write down what are the elements in the universal set like before i have said already so the numbers which you observe in rectangle all will come under universal set so these are the elements in universal set right next we will write what is set a set b and what is a union b and a intersection b so what are the elements in set a like previously i have said the part this is set a so the elements which are there in set b set a all are 3 6 5 and 7 so we can put these elements in set a right next in set b what are the elements are there 6 is there 7 is there 8 9 and 10 so this one is completely set b so in set b 6 7 8 9 and 10 are there so a union b a union b means all the elements that is the elements which may be in a or b so these are all the elements see how many elements are there 3 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so all these elements will be in a union b a intersection b means the common area so like in the previous problem also i have showed you the common area problems that is when you look at the 6 7 these two elements are there in set a and set b also so this is intersection part in the intersection part there are two elements therefore a intersection b will be the elements 6 and 7 so let us solve one problem this is set a the elements in the set a are 3 5 6 and 7 now this is set b the elements in set b are 6 7 8 9 and 10 next one a intersection b so the intersection part the common area that is 6 and 7 a union b the elements which are in set a or set b in any sets the elements are 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 next n of a means number of elements in set a so this is a set a how many elements are there in set a there are four elements that is 3 5 6 and 7 next one n of b the number of elements in set b how many are there 6 7 8 9 10 next one n of a union b a union b how many elements are there in set a union b 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 next one n of a intersection b in a intersection b set how many elements are there 6 and 7 so this one is 1 and 2 two elements are there next one so we have to prove this so we have to prove lhs is equal to rhs so simply we'll substitute n of a union b in place of a union n of a union b will write 7 and n of a is 4 n of b is 5 n of a intersection b is 2 now here we'll add 4 plus 5 that is equal to 9 9 minus 2 you will get 7 so when you look lhs and rhs both are equal so lhs is equal to rhs so this is very important problem and you may get this problem for four marks question instead of this numbers they may put alphabets also and differently they may ask 
So this is a gunshot question for the final examination in 10th class and this you can score 100% marks. marks. We'll solve one more problem when you look at this Venn diagram. So this is a set A and this is the set B. So when you look at the set B, the set B is completely within the set A. So we'll write what are the set A and set B now. So this is set A. So the set A will be the whole elements that is 3, 5, 8, 9, 6, 7. So all these elements will come under set A. Next one, set B. Set B means this is set B. The small one which is inside the set A that is the elements 6, 7 and 9 are set B elements. Next one, A union B. A union B means the elements which are in A or B. So the elements which are outside may not come for A union B set. Only the elements which should be in A part or B. All these elements that is the 3, 5, 8, 9, 6, and set all these elements will come under A union B set. Next one, A intersection B. A intersection B is the common part. So when you put finger in this B, so that finger will rest in set A and set B also. So the common area part is intersection part. That is nothing but B. So when you put finger here somewhere in the left out area of set A, that won't include, that part won't include in B. So when you, when these elements, when you look at these elements, that is 6, 9 and 7, these three elements are in set A and set B. So you can say that these three elements are in intersection part, that is 6, 7 and 9. Now N of A. N of A means already you know the number of elements in set A. There are 6 elements. Next one N of B. There are 3 elements. In N of A union B part there are 6 elements. Number of elements in A union B set. There are 6 elements N of A intersection part, there are three elements. You see here, one, two, and three. Now we'll solve this. So this one you have to solve. N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. So this is also a four marks question for the final examination. Now we'll find found out all the sets. Now we'll substitute here. What is A N of A union B? That is 6. N of A is 6. N of B is 3. N of A intersection B is 3. Right? Next. 6 plus 3 is 9. Minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. So here LHS is equal to RHS. So this is very easy question. When you solve different problems like this, you may get perfection. So this is all about today's session. Thank you students. Keep watching my videos and subscribe.